Welcome back, and we are still in Substance Painter, and we have um, our first texture, which looks too large in scale. So we talked about our layers, um, we've talked about our, our texture maps now, and now we're just applying the materials, basically drag and drop. It can't get any easier than this. Of course, if you want to add wear and tear, that that's added uh, stuff that you're going to want to be doing. And we do want to add that, but we're just going to go through dropping the materials and how to get this to look good. All right, so right now we're going to be looking at how to control this. So we have uh, the texture list, the texture set, set list with our UDMs. Each one is numbered. You have to click on the right texture set, so you click on it, and then that comes with its own layer. All these are different, though. Okay, so if I click on 1002, uh, then you can see this layer comes up that's different and that's what makes this so wonderful that I can click on this one and you can see that I got my leather uh, grain texture in here large um, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to kind of uh, uh, finish this up so I'm gonna move this up so we can see what's happening here okay so our properties paint okay so we have our brush size okay um, so what I'm gonna do here um, let's look at this a minute let's get that back up there again okay um, I'm gonna move that over a little bit so we get a little more room we can see what's happening here okay so what I'm gonna click on my plastic leather green large and you can see that with that selected um, under my uh, UV tile 1001 if I click on that you can see that this comes up the properties fill so we have basically the color height the rough metal normal areas down here and then we've got the properties okay so now we're gonna go ahead and we can make that smaller and the leather grain smaller which makes it a lot nicer there we go okay and continue scaling down so it looks more like a really fine leather okay we have to be careful not to go too far with it but that looks about right so we're looking for something that looks more like fine fine leather okay that looks great okay so I think that looks pretty good we could probably even go smaller than that if we wanted to we're at 7.29 and that looks great okay so I'm just getting a nice uh, leather on there okay great so I'm happy with that now again let's kinda take you through everything though let's if we bring this back to uh, one the original you can do a couple things in here so you can do an offset that kind of moves the texture back and forth you can see right here so you can see it moving back and forth right over the over the object okay and we've got offset up and down so we've got the offset this way left and right and then we have the uh, offset of up and down okay we also have the option of rotating the texture now because this is a procedural texture it really doesn't do much when I rotate I mean if it really helps you fantastic if not don't worry about it just rotating the texture um, I'm gonna keep the offset at uh, 0 and 0 for everything but I just wanted to show you that when we go down to material and that's like hitting this ball you know ball right here they're all the same so if I just scroll down you can get to it that way um, with this one this allows us to tile the texture over um, and if you need to do that with this is again it's a procedural map so it really doesn't do much okay um, what it's doing is it's kinda like the scale meaning that when you tile something over and over again it makes it smaller and smaller and smaller so I'm gonna bring the tile to one now if you need that if for some reason um, your texture needs to have that uh, then feel free to do that what it does is it, it basically duplicates the tile um, over and and it makes it smaller because it's, it's using a, a more space um, metallic uh, basically um, this really 
you can see kind of how it's darkening the object. Um, it's going to make it a little more reflective uh, in the light. Uh, so be careful with metallic, especially when it's a surface like this. Okay. Again, you can see that it darkens the texture. Okay. When I add that in there, let's take a look and see what it does to the metallic map. Now notice that you can see that it turned it white. So that basically means that it's going to be reflective like metal. You don't want that for uh, leather or plastic or rubber or something like that. So keep that metallic down. Okay. So let's go back into my material. All right, so let's move down on this and we've got different channels we can look at. Basically turn them off and on and then our technical parameters are interesting. You can kind of play with those a little bit. You got your hue shift, your saturation, your height range and your height position. Now normally um, if you want kind of a less intense looking uh, map and this is kind of what I'm looking for for this part of it uh, for this guy right here I want it to look more like it's not like deep grain leather because you can see there it looks kind of funky. It almost looks like styrofoam to me, like compa compacted styrofoam. Um, so I'm going to turn the intensity down quite a bit. I don't really need a big, a large intensity. I might even type in something like 0 0.02 or something like that. But I think that looks pretty good. Okay, there we go. So I like that. So basically, every every material is going to be different. Every material is going to have different properties. Uh, just remember that when you select a material that you may not see all this stuff. Um, that's okay. Um, but you have a lot of control in here. Okay. So um, you can play with the hue shift. Okay. If you want to see how that looks. Now it's not going to be a fast change. Okay. Sometimes it takes a while for things to change. So don't worry about that. I'm going to bring this back to zero. Uh, contrast you can see that we can get a contrast in the texture you can take that out uh, or add more to it it's so whatever you'd like to do um, and the luminosity that's how bright the object will be again um, we'll just keep it at basically where we're, we're at I might bring it down a little bit the luminosity and maybe the contrast up a little bit more there we go and then let's go back and I'm gonna repeat this at seven. I think we I think I like that the best and that kind of gives me that really nice leather feel. That looks really, really good. I like that. Okay. So there's the outside. Alright, so you will continue this with all your materials. So um, let's say with the next one now it's nice to have more materials uh, to use. So let's go ahead and start. Um, so we've got plastic here in here. Let's take a look at some of the stuff we can use for like shiny plastic. Okay. So this will, this wire will be like plastic. So it it can be a rubber feel. So let's type in rubber on here. Let's see if I have any rubber. Okay. So we've got rubber plastic again. You want to really think about what your what your texture is and how you're going to use it so and how it's going to look and how it reflects and all that stuff and that's something that you need to really think about before you get into this what what do r real materials look like in, in real world and your stuff will look as good as the material if you think that way so look around the house and look for materials and look how the light reflects off the material and make sure you're getting it uh, pretty spot on and, and how it would really look so I've got some different materials in here. Rubber is pretty much, this is what I've got right now. Um, plastic, fine grain. Um, let's see here. I'm looking for rubber material. Rubber seal. Rubber vulcan. Yeah, there you go. That's what I want. Rubber vulcanized raw. Okay. So, whoops, I don't want to do that because that put it on here. See how the how different that that is. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna go back, Control Z. Okay, so I forgot that I I ha I'm on the wrong one. So let's go back here 
and let's take a look at the um, the material here now I've got the material uh, I believe let's see here that is this because it's the only one that I have that looks like that so I think that's what I've got and so I probably should have written it down when I was doing UV maps. That would have been smart, wouldn't it? So um, let's go in here and drag and drop that in here. And there it is. Boom. Now the rubber looks pretty good right off the bat. I'm not too sad about it. It looks really great. It's reflecting off there nicely. So that was that's great right there. Okay. The next thing is do I want the same textures that I have here that I have that I would I want that on the back uh, probably want a different texture on that on the back here to make it look interesting so but we have that choice we can always go back what's the next one um, oh that's the back of the pad right here so we want that to be soft okay so Again, I'm just going to go ahead and start dropping the materials on here um, so you can, guys can get an idea how nice this is. Um, this rubber mat, this rubber material here looks kind of fun. So let's go ahead and dump that on there. There you go. So that looks kind of cool. That's going to be a rubber part in the back. Okay. And that actually fits kind of with what I want. That looks pretty cool. Um, okay, so let me look at other things in here. Plastic skin, rubber dots, recessed green. That's really cool looking. So I probably want to have something like that on the inside. Now, the thing is you'll never see it. That's really sad because it'll be on the head. But if it's by itself, um, you can kind of add that to it. So let's see, where, where would that one be? Um, let's go in here and so we can find it. Okay, I'm not sure if that's it. Don't know. Continue looking. Continue looking. There it is right there. That's the one I want. So I'm going to drag and drop this guy in here. There we go. Oh, that's the same one I had. Let's go control Z back. There we go. And the rubber dot one. There we go. Right, cool. Let's look in there and see how that looks. Oh, that looks pretty cool. Um, the only thing I want to do now is scale that up a little bit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that looks great. Perfect. That looks fantastic. That looks great. All right, so we've got that in there like that. Here we go. And that one's called Rubber Dots Recess Grain. Use rubber mat. I might just give these to you. I'll I'll kind of write down what we what we're using here, and I just give those to you so you guys can have some fun with those. Um, let's see here. We have some metal parts, unfortunately. Um, let's take a look at those. So we got that done. Let's do what is what's that one? I'm not sure. Um, let's look up here. Okay, so there's the top. So this is the this would be plastic I would think. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and add a plastic to that, or something glossy would be fun. Um, maybe that could be metal, um, but plastic makes more sense. There's a glass fiber I have here, glass, Kevlar. Oh, that's kind of cool. Carbon fiber, uh, carbon fiber plane weave. Hmm, I love carbon fiber twill or plain. Um, let's see what it looks like. So let's go ahead and add that on there. Oh wow. That looks pretty cool. Oh wow, that's pretty neat. Carbon fiber on a set of headphones. That would cost so much money. Um, what would the um, carbon fiber twill we weave look like? And if I just click on it, this is really cool. Ooh, that's cool too. So plain weave or twill weave. Okay, so, wow. And that's all I have to think about. That is so cool. So just think about all the cool uh, all the cool things you can do on here. So I'm going to do plain weave and click on that. 
and scale that up so it looks correct like it would really look extremely expensive pair of headphones here okay and you can see carbon fiber is a little different that the weave needs to be pretty small again I have to find out how small that weave would be that looks about right that's awesome that's very cool very cool okay so um, that's carbon fiber and then we've got some um, things on top that we can add okay I'm over my I'm over kind of the amount of time that I have for my video so I'm gonna stop here and we'll come back in the next video pretty exciting